unfortunately could not enjoy it. Instead, I spent the time trying desperately to remember all the great kissing scenes I had watched in movies, focusing on fundamentals. I imagined how Cary Grant might kiss Mary Clear. That turned out to be a little discouraging because Cary Grant and Mary Clear looked really good together. And I suddenly felt more inadequate than I did before. Six period PE class trying desperately not to sweat for Mary's sake. This whole body odor issue had begun to consume me. It occurred to me that if God created man in his own image, did that mean that he too used deodorant? Or did he simply add sweat and body odor to us so that he'd be the only guy without sweat rings when the world was coming to an end? It was time. I moved with purpose, and yet it was clear that my mind was not in control. My body, governed by some force previously unknown to me, was calling the shots. This, despite the fact that it was my body and not my mind, that Ricky Brown would ultimately beat unmercifully. Hey, Nickel, we, uh, we running workouts after school today? No. We've been playing this for a week. Seriously? Nickel! I walk quickly. Not because I was anxious so much as I was extremely intimidated by Mary and didn't want to upset her. She commanded respect. After all, at a time when every move a young boy makes breaks some personal sexual boundary, Mary Clear was like a beacon of light. Even the other girls respected her. After a boy had made out with Mary, they could all rest easy in that boy's firm embrace, knowing at least one of them knew what he was doing. Randy! Where are you going, man? Bike rack's the other way. We saw the help today, Dan. Now I know who my friends are. I'm your friend, Annie, but I'm not a moron. What was I supposed to do, get beat up with you? That makes no sense at all. Would you be friends with a moron? Forget it. I'll see you later. Where are you going? To meet Mary Clear. Are you insane? Ricky Brown will kill you. I know, but I can't stop myself. Finally, up ahead, I approached the tunnel. Mary would be waiting on the other side. You lost, Nickel? They say your life flashes before your eyes just prior to death, but that didn't happen to me. I took it as a good sign. All I could think about was how painful it felt when Ricky had punched me in the stomach. And that was just a warning. Let him go, Ricky. Shut up, Mary. This ain't your business. You let him go, or I'll tell Principal Kellner who stole $32 in quarters out of the Pepsi machine. You're the luckiest butt wipe I've ever known, Nickel. First a freak bells about, now a girl. Am I gonna have to fight your mother next? I bet the house on my mother, Ricky. You'll be alone next time, Nickel. I promise. Having cheated death once more, I marched on. At this point, I wasn't sure who I feared most, Ricky Brown or Mary Clear. Whoever chose this particular spot to make out knew a heck of a lot more about symbolism than most eighth graders. Although no one knew the origin of said tradition, my guess is that it was Mary Clear herself. She alone would understand its meaning. Hi. We're gonna have to do this after the talent show. My bus is leaving in one minute. Meet me back here. She stood still, allowing me the first advance. She held the faint wisps of my tender male ego in her hand, and I could only hope that she would caress them gently. So, how you doing? No, no, uh, let's forget that. So, can I kiss you? Sure. Finally, I leaned in and kissed. Oh, no! The last moment I chickened out and kissed her on the cheek. An appalling display of cowardice, and she would have been within her rights to run around the school laughing her head off. You've never made out before, have you? Male ego being what it is, I might have lied to save face, but Mary seemed all-knowing somehow. Besides, who was I kidding? No. Would you like me to teach you? Yes, I like that very much. And so she did, slowly, carefully, 
handling me as if I were a mound of clay, molded by the artist's tender touch. She turned what might have been a scarring boyhood memory into the sweetest of recollections. And for that, I would always be grateful. What's with the stopwatch? Um, I like the time each guess. The record is one minute and 16 seconds. Can I ask who holds the record? Ricky Brown. Eight years. Well, if it helps, I can hold my breath underwater for a minute and a half. That should help. 